So Helen, it's a little bit of a strange one. We know you're in the Olympic team. You're here this weekend to lend support, but you're not having to race. That's quite a strange position, really. Yeah, just down here for a few days in Blenheim. <laughs> no, I'm looking forward to watching the races tomorrow. And it came down as part of the kind of promotional stuff for the Olympics and um, yeah, getting ready to announce the team. How nice has it been to go through your preparation knowing that you were already sort of pre-selected, if you like? Yeah, having met the criteria last year was, um, you know, it's, it's a relief because it just gave me one focus for this year and that focus is the Olympics. I didn't have to worry about selection races. It was just about preparation and then getting ready for August the 4th. Some brilliant races overseas. Uh, so far, so good this year, Touchwood. Yeah, I mean, my first two races, uh, second in Sydney and then one San Diego. So, I mean, it's the brilliant start to the year and, and better than I had I'd hoped for. And it, it was really positive to know that I'd had a good winter's training and, you know, that obviously translated to the racing. It's always a bit nerve wracking before the first races because you're never quite sure whether all your training is going to actually translate into a good performance. So yeah, it was really good just to tick that box and just get back to training now and, and focusing on the Olympics. And what a declaration of intent that was in San Diego because you won the women's race and Johnny won the men's. I know, it's, um, <laughs> it, was, it was pretty good. I think it just shows how strong we are as a country at the moment that you know, we can go to you know, World, Tri World Triathlon Series race, the highest standard of racing, and, and win both the women and the men. I think it's uh, very positive for the whole team. And it, it, I think yeah, that sort of success kind of, uh, can be inspiring and it, you know, it, it definitely inspires you, as I do when I watch the boys race, definitely. Now, we know about the two world titles, so you're used to being in the papers a little bit, but have you noticed how much it's, it's, started to, it's started to ratch up a notch? You know, people are really taking an interest in triathlon and in our chances at the Olympics. There's definitely a lot more media attention. It's been growing, I guess, for the last year or so. I think that's due to the success of the team as well. So I think it's something we've just got to deal with and cope with. It's, it's, it's now part of being an athlete, especially an athlete with a, with a home Olympics. I think you have to become good at managing all the, I guess, the extra attention, but, but not losing focus of what's important. And what's important is the swimming, biking and running. So if you don't get that bit right, then you're obviously not going to get the results. You and Mark are, have got a good system worked out. Is it about keeping as low profile as you can from, from here on into the games and just doing what you've been doing previously and continuing to do it well? Just sticking to what you know, sticking to the training we've done in the past. I think that's really important. And yeah, just try not to get carried away with the whole hype of the Olympics. It's very exciting, but I try not to focus on the Olympics and focus on just trying to have a good race on that day. And, and because in the end, the race is the same as every other race. It's just all the, the outside stuff that's a little bit different. <laughs> so, you, so you'll be at home in Wales just doing your normal build-up? I'll try and stay at home as much as possible. Yeah, I think it's, you know, it's a home games and, and I, you know, I love being at home and training in my home environment. So I think that's the best preparation for me. Uh, let's get back on to this weekend. It, it's a deceptively difficult course, this. What, what sort of race do you think we'll see unfolding for the elite women this weekend? It's a pretty tough course and um, one of the hardest things is the swim and there's a, there's a long run out to the bike so even if you come out the swim well you, you know you're really going to have to work and be pretty tired by the time you get to the bike. I think that's probably going to be one of the key moments in the women's race. And it's, uh, it's quite a twisty turny bike course and it's more undulating than people might expect coming here to Oxfordshire so that'll, uh, that'll certainly make things interesting on, on the second discipline. It is a tough course, and I think um, it's going to be a strong athlete that wins this race. You've got to, you've got to be pretty tough, and uh, hopefully the weather conditions will be, you know, nice for them. And uh, yeah, they're going to have a going to have a hard day out there. One of the buzzwords about the Olympics is legacy. We've heard that bandied around so much in the last 12 months, and and you're playing your part because it's about not only your own medal aspirations, but it's about inspiring the next generation. And you're going to be doing a little bit of coaching over the weekend. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. I think one of the most rewarding parts of being an athlete is you do have the opportunity to work with some of the younger athletes and you know, seeing the enthusiasm they have for the sport is, uh, I think it's really inspiring, especially if you've had a day where, you know, where you're tired from training and you're not that motivated. You see some of these young kids and you think, oh yeah, that's, that is what it's about, is just you know, getting out there and just, just doing the sport. Great stuff. British Triathlon, proudly partnered by GE. Imagination at work.